Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how I set up my Tradevate and TS Trader platforms. Now, in this setup video, you're going to actually learn where everything's located and how to actually customize it to where you would be able to use it the best way possible. So let's go ahead and get into it. The screen you're looking at right now is the default workstation for Tradevate. And so what we want to do is we want to reorganize this because it just looks crazy. There's a lot going on here and I just I like it a little bit more clean. So the first things that we're going to do is actually just close out of all of these different windows. We're going to start with a brand new blank screen. And the next step that we're going to do is just go ahead and click this plus sign where it says add modules. And so all those things that we just exited out of are called modules. I use legacy charts because I like the way that they look honestly a little better. I also like the way they act with volume profile a little better. So I'm going to grab one of these legacy charts and just drag and drop it onto the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is actually just click this plus sign. I'll do ES here, um, ESM current contract month. And what I'm going to do now is just grab that tab and pull it over as well. So now I have two different charts. Go ahead and put the NQ here. I like the NQ on the left, the ES on the right. And you can see it actually already pulled over my default settings here. Uh, but the next thing I'm going to do is go back to this module tab and I'm going to grab the DOM. So right here, just again, drag and drop one it all the way on the right side so that it takes up the full length and I can just select my different options here as well again add a new tab select the NQ and the ES because those are the two that I'm trading slide this over a little bit slide this one over a little bit and so it already is starting to get some structure and feel good this again is from just like the basic settings right last thing we're going to do is add module and I personally like seeing a performance center so we're going to grab our performance center, which is located right in the middle. So we're going to grab performance center right in the middle and again, drag and drop methodology here. And so we'll just drag it there. And then the last thing we're going to do is actually just again, drag the NQ all the way over and throw the ES on it as well and then slide. So now we already have this good basic shape going. Last thing we'll do is we'll just drag the performance center all the way down so that the only thing we're seeing here is gross PL, profit trades, losing trades. And then we can obviously expand it by clicking full size here. So you'll see all of the actual data and then you can shrink it back down to have your normal chart settings. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take off all of this stuff off of my charts. So now we're stuck with a blank five minute chart. So I use five minute charts. I use 22 range and I use the daily. So in order to set all of those up, what I'm going to do again is just go to the new tab, stick with the NQ. And now it's on a five minute. I prefer to have my daily one next. So I just click on day after going into the time period here. And then I'm going to do this exact same thing over again. And instead of choosing an actual time, I'm going to go to range. And here at range, I'm going to change my size to 22. A range chart is not time-based. So each candle is going to be 22 ticks of price movement until a new candle is formed. The other and last thing that we really want to make sure that we do on all of these charts, especially the 22 range, is when we click into a uh, little settings cog here and it says configure chart elements, we're going to want to click that and change the minimum number of bars to load to 999. This is very important on the range because uh, the way that Tradevate works is it loads data based on how many bars you have. So if there's more than 999 bars, you're going to want to scroll out and scroll back in in order to make sure that your VWAP and all of that stays the same. The next thing that I'm going to do in order to set up the 22 range chart is I'm going to go to this indicator section and then I'm going to scroll down to volume based. I'm actually going to do this on every single chart. I'm going to go to cumulative delta. I leave all these settings uh, just standard. Click save and then it's going to throw it on your chart. The other important thing here actually is up here on the right, you'll get view settings per module. So if you click that, you can actually do bar countdown settings. So if you have a five minute uh, bar that you want to enable, you can enable that there to see how much time is left on the bar. The other thing you can do here is go to normal settings and you can turn on continuous auto fit or off. So if you want to scroll out or scroll back in and have the bars fit, you can turn that off or on. That's important to note there. And then the last one that's very important is you can roll forward or roll backward on your contracts. So if it's time to roll forward on the NASDAQ, you can just click this button or you can roll backwards to be back on M. The next thing that I'm going to want to do for my 22 range specifically is go to again, that indicators tab and you'll, you're going to want to go down to explore community indicators. This is like their indicator um, database for ones that are not built in. So once you click explore community indicators, search 
uh, VWAP, you're going to see non VWAP bands. Search that, install it. Once you install it, it's going to appear under NOM tools, and you're just going to select NOM VWAP bands. I actually use two of these indicators. So you can actually just click save on one and then, you know, add another one in as well. Once we go into our settings, we're actually going to use a one and a half line as well as a three. And so the three for the upper standard deviation band number two, we're going to turn it red. And for the one and a half, we're actually going to turn it orange and we're going to make it dotted. Just like that. So we can save that. So now you can see we have the we have VWAP, we have one standard deviation, one and a half, two, and three. I'm actually going to uh, just make this a little bit thinner, just so it's not as in my face. So there I can see the one and a half. So we have VWAP, one, one and a half, two, and three. Um, if you're interested in knowing why I have everything set up the way I do, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's going to be the most viewed video with my strategy and watch the strategy there. So this chart is now officially set up. It's good to go. And next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have the free indicators turned on. So you're going to want to click the profile in the top right hand corner, the little dials. It's your settings wheel for the entire platform. You're going to want to go to add ons and then scroll down to free indicators and make sure that that is activated. You're also going to want to make sure that your advanced charting is activated. Both are free and you just turn them on. So once you have free indicators turned on, you'll go back to your chart, go to indicators, free indicators, volume profiles so with volume profiles what we care about or what i care about at least with my volume profile specifically is the daily session lower line enabled upper line enabled we're going to select both of those for the upper value area line i prefer green for the lower i prefer red value area is at 75 percent profile color i'm going to make it um gray actually we're going to make this invisible Invisible, invisible. All right, save. And we're just missing this value area. Make this one as invisible as well. And, and unfortunately with the, you have to use legacy charts, I believe in order to have this invisible. So now that we have our value area lines for the daily session, what I want to do is make sure I can see my histogram a little better. And the way that I do that is actually just adding the indicator again. So I go to free indicators, volume profile, and instead of the daily session, what I want to do is daily, the actual daily. So not just the regular trading hours, but I want to go from the overnight session through the close. So I'm going to actually choose this option instead, daily 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to select that. I'm going to take off the point of control and the value, well, the volume labels, my value area, I'm going to turn to white and profile color. I'm going to turn to white as well. And by doing this, it's just going to make it pop a lot more. We'll be able to see the data a lot better. So when we click save, you can now see the histogram has been basically illuminated and it's very bright now. It's very easy to see. This volume on the right is showing the overnight session through now with volume and all the levels of volume that we have. And then our volume profile showing the value area high point of control and value area low are from regular trading hours through now. So this five minute chart is now set up. The only thing left to add is VWAP. So I'm going to go to again, indicators, volume based, VWAP, save. And there you have it. That is my complete setup for the Trade of Eight platform and TS Trader platforms. If you're on Top Step, if you're interested in Top Step, it's linked down below. If you want to learn more about it, it's an opportunity for traders to prove themselves that they're decent at trading and the company gives you money to trade with. You split the profits 80 20. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it was helpful on how to set up things between legacy charts and normal charts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.